Hi guys, so while the cost of living crisis is hitting the poor and the working class the most, another issue that keeps many in poverty is housing and the cost related to home ownership. Most people renting would like to have their own home, but due to a whole range of problems, it is beyond their possibilities. Rents are rising and that means that especially young people are having a more difficult time getting on the property ladder. So in steps Christy Alsop, a TV presenter who had this wonderful advice for young people. Just move somewhere cheaper. This is from the Times on Sunday. Young people could afford to get on the property ladder if they gave up luxuries such as their gym membership and foreign holidays and looked at cheaper areas, according to Kirsty Alsop. So kids, stop spending so much on iPhones and going to the gym if you want to afford a house. Right. It goes on to say, The Location 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 presenter said she felt enraged when people claimed that they could not afford a home. Some graduates and school leavers could consider moving back in with their parents, she added. Alsop 50 bought her first property with family help at the age of 21, when the average house price in the UK was about £51,000, adjusted for inflation that is £112,000, compared with £255,550 for the average home today. Oh my god, how disconnected are these people from reality? So there are two things here I want to highlight just in this article. It says here, she felt enraged, <laughs> enraged that people could not afford a home. And then the second part is, you can see here in the second paragraph, she bought her first property with family help at the age of 21. So she's telling young people, you need to make sacrifices in order to buy a home. When she was 21, she received help from her family. Now, a little bit of background on her. Who is her family? Well, her family, her dad is Charles Henry Alsop, 6th Baron uh, Hendlip, a British peer and businessman, a member of the House of Lords from... 1993 to until 1999. So she received help from her father to buy her first home while he was a member of the House of Lords. Okay. A little bit more about her. Um, Alsop was reported in 2008 and 2009 to be an advisor to the Conservative Party on housing matters, but denied this, but has denied this. In August 2014, Alsop was one of uh, 200 public figures who were signatories to a letter to the Guardian opposing Scottish independence in the run-up to September's referendum on that issue. In 2016, also voted leave in the referendum uh, to leave the European Union. So she's a Brexiteer and uh, maybe an advisor to the Conservative Party, but we're not so sure about that. On housing. On housing. <laughs> so... This is the type of person who may have been, I don't know, but may have been advising the Conservative Party on housing and her, and her advice to young people is, well, you need to cut back on luxuries and then you'll be able to buy your own home. Although I wasn't able to buy my own home, I needed to ask my dad, who was a member of the House of Lords, to help me out. The complete and utter disconnect from these people, from reality, Young people can't buy homes because of la one issue is a lack of job security. More and more people are being forced to take on numerous, numerous jobs. Many of them are zero hour contracts. If you're on a zero hour contract, it's it, practically impossible to save money in order to, to buy a home. And then if you want to go to the bank and get a mortgage, you need to demonstrate that you're able to pay it back and that you have a stable uh, form of employment stable forms of employment are becoming more and more rare. And it doesn't matter how much you earn, st stable employment is becoming more and more uh, rare. And then, of course, in order to buy a home, you need to save some money. But in order to save money, you can't be paying a third or half of your income in rent. How are you supposed to save money? She's talking here about yeah, cutting back on luxuries. If most of if a significant amount of your income goes on rent, then you're not going to be able to cut back on luxuries or cut back on anything. And the idea that people have to cut back on luxuries when they're deciding whether to, you know, to 
feed their families or heat their homes shows a complete and utter disconnect from reality once again. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.